Okay. If you can so, me, Chief. Shake it off, Marine. doing the second part of the I don't like confrontation run. Um, outskirts. Uh, of course, you can see I'm taking the non confrontational route um, up on the rooftops here. And having a little trouble getting with a simple jump. That's always a good start. But yeah, you can you can pretty much this whole part here just jump over everything without any grenades or anything like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab a uh, sword that's just kind of sticking in the ground. Can actually, if you really wanted to, um, grab the sword later from an elite when we're going through the tunnel. But since this is, I don't like confrontation, we're not going to confront that elite. We're just going to grab it there and grab the sniper. We're not even going to use this sniper rifle. We're going to give this to our buddy in the warthog so he can use it to help us out. There's going to be a couple grunts in here. Take him out with a grenade. There's gonna be a white elite. Gonna require four headshots on legendary. Start airlifting armor and reinforcements into the city. They'll need an escort that isn't afraid of a little hostile ground fire. Grabbing grenades, stuff just to help out. Maybe a couple of elites here. Headshot them, take them out. New contact. Yeah, it's gonna be a couple grunts here. If you throw the grenade right, you should be able to take them both out, which I didn't do. And the dropship's gonna come and drop a couple of elites. Take out the two elites and the grunts. Um, usually, there's one, if not two, white elites, so I require four shots. Um, make sure you take out the grunts because. Um, they love throwing grenades at your warthog buddies down here, and we're gonna need this warthog, and we're gonna need it in one piece. So that's why you're seeing me take out these, um, wasting time taking out all these ghosts, because I don't want them, as soon as I turn my back and, and uh, go down there, they're either gonna wreck the warthog, Hit me in the back, or they're gonna take out uh, one of my guys who I want to give a sniper to. So that's why I'm just kind of like one of these guys, and, and you really don't have to do much. Your guys in the back of the warthog are pretty much taking care of them, anyways. Special delivery from Commander Keys, Chief. Don't give it to that guy, because the first guy that gets out, he runs off. You, yeah, wait for this guy, and give him your sniper. Let me know if you want it back, okay? No, I gave it to you for a reason. So, we're gonna take off, and... The highest concentration of Covenant troops this part's below the carrier. a little tricky up here. Just don't get hit by the sniper. Sometimes you get hit right in the head, and that sucks, but it's just random. The hardest part is getting past this little grunt right here shooting at you. And then we're gonna come up, and... Avoid everybody, so we're gonna go just past these rocks out in the on the lake here, and nobody will shoot at you when you're out here. I'm gonna make this jump. The carrier just launched a wave of pods. And again, the sniper that's gonna come up every once in a while, he'll hit you in the head, and it's just frustrating. This tunnel links up to the bridge. It's full of rats, if you know what I mean. But it beats you can stop here and wait for another warthog that's gonna come and help you, and he'll actually help 
help out pretty good taking out enemies. So if you want to just do it the slower way and wait for him, kind of just let him lead the way while you clean up enemies and stuff, you can do that. But um, I just didn't feel like, I don't know, sometimes you just feel like speeding through here. Which isn't the easiest thing to do, especially with these bugs. And don't have Sputnik on either, because that'll kill you. Right here, I, for some reason, didn't uh, realize there was a turret there, and decided to just run right into it. Uh, the couple ghosts coming here, you can actually edge through this little hole here, and not confront them, even though they will kind of turn around and shoot at you. Same with up here, you just kind of do a little serpentine move, get around everybody. They're going to be shooting at you. And as you can see right there, I looked I looked in at front, I'm like, oh, I lost my sniper guy. I wanted to keep him, so he's going to help not only shoot things. Well, they don't even shoot much. They're just more of a target for enemies to shoot at, which is helpful. Got another hostile. I mean, he's going to shoot stuff, but... It's not like they're going to take these guys out. Don't let them. And even though Cortana says, hey, don't let them go, <laughs> you can just drive past them, whatever. Uh, kind of like in the first Halo. Wait here for the Pelican to arrive. No, you don't. Just keep driving. We're already on fire. pretty much home free after this except for the end which is a little uh, it can get tricky sometimes because just because there's so many enemies down here and for some reason I decided to take a stupid route I, I never even take this route I usually duck behind that first box but for some reason I decided to go over here instead and obviously I end up paying the price Try that again. Well, you see those ghosts coming, then all of a sudden I hide behind that box as long as I can, then swerve out of there, and then just try to maneuver through here. And looks like we even kept everybody intact. And that's it.